Hi there, I'm going to show you how to use our mini quiz generator. Uh, we send this home quite a lot to parents because it's really important that students build up their bank of core knowledge, core knowledge in science. Not only is this important for when they're doing exams because there are a lot of knowledge based questions, but actually when we cover new material, we need to use the old material to understand what we're doing now. So you can't understand, even in, uh, you know, if you're doing in biology, you're doing respiration, you can't really understand respiration without remembering what you learnt about elements, compounds and symbols uh, in chemistry. So it's really important that we're building up our bank of core knowledge and this is a great way for students to revise and to improve their knowledge of science. It's a really simple program running off Excel. There's a tab at the bottom which is called questions. I'm using a Mac, but it works just fine on a PC as well. There's a tab at the bottom that says questions, and this here is a list of all the questions, the core questions that we go through, and this one is for Key Stage 3 Science. We go through these over time, so Year 7 will be up to whatever point, Year 8 will be up to a different point, Year 9 will be up to another point, and you're the teacher of science, uh, so your student, your child's teacher will tell you which question they're up to in uh, class. So let's say with my class I'm up to 237. Question 237, I've just finished B2. You go into the Do Now tab that's at the bottom here, I just moved over tabs. So I've got the Question tab, that's here, and I've got the Do Now tab, that's here. And let's say I want to do up to 237, I can pop that in over there and it generates five random questions from that list. The best thing for me then to do as a student is to take a piece of paper and to sit down and answer those five questions on paper. It's not really good enough to think about the answers, speaking them out is better, but the best way to do it is to sit down and write out your answers. Let's say I've finished, I've done all those five questions, I want to check the answers. There's a tab at the bottom, the next one, Do Now ANS, which stands for Answers, and I click on that, and here I've got the five answers to those questions that I did before. So an advantage of wind energy, question two there, my answer is it's a renewable energy source, it's cheap to run once it's installed, and there's no carbon dioxide produced. I can get my red pen, I can correct my work. Let's say I want to do another mini quiz, so I go back to the Do Now tab, and I can just press the F9 button on the keyboard, the F9 button, and that will give me a brand new quiz with five brand new questions. Uh, on some keyboards you might need to press a function button and the F9 as well, but if even that doesn't work, if you just retype the number up here, it'll give you a brand new quiz, no problem there. If you are wanting to study a particular unit, so let's say actually, you know what, it's um, P2 is what I want to study, I'm not, I'm not sure about my knowledge of the universe, so that goes from question 238 uh, all the way down to... Let's stop, 238, here we go, stops here, oh, I went too far, so 238 goes, so from question 238 all the way down to say 264, so I can put that in here as well, in the next one, do now R, where I go 238 to 264, so that's in the do now R, where the R stands for range, so just a specific range of questions, that will give me questions just from that unit. So I can say, right, well, the thing that I'm really weak on at the moment is the universe, so I'm just going to study this particular unit right now, and again, I'll have my answers just over there. And if I want a new one, again, I hit F9, and it'll give me a new quiz. I can't stress how important it is for students to get into a regular habit of using this program. It's really simple, it's really easy, it takes no more than five to ten minutes to do one quiz, sometimes it'll take even less, uh, and if you do two or three of these, every couple of evenings then your science knowledge will get significantly better and you'll find things going a lot better for you in class as well. If of course you have any problems please do not hesitate to get in touch. You can either get in touch with uh, your student, your child's science teacher or you can get in touch with Mr Boxer via the office and I'll help you out as much as I can.